The Premier League predictor is back. That's because the Premier League is back. Mark Ogden has been counting down the days. So let's get the games for you, shall we? First up, it is Newcastle against Manchester United. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is under pressure. Can his side kickstart their season at St. James's Park, Mark? Tough place to go, Newcastle, when Newcastle are in form and they are at the moment. And Man United lost their last season. I do think that I do worry for Man United in this game because they were terrible against Tottenham, losing 6 1. They go to Newcastle with Anthony Martial suspended, problems at the back. David De Gea made another absolute massive howler this week in playing for Spain in goal. So his, his form's up and down. I think that Newcastle with Callum Wilson on form, I think they'll have too much for Man United. I think Newcastle win this game 2 0. Chelsea are up against Southampton. The big news is the goalkeeper Edward Mendy is injured and unavailable. So you wonder what Frank Lampard's going to do. And also, the Saints have got two wins behind them. So what do you expect here? Well, the good news for Chelsea is that Kepa, I think, is the only, one of the only players this season, to keep, his, this season to keep Ronaldo out because I think he kept a clean sheet for Spain against Portugal. So at least Kepa's got a clean sheet to go back to Chelsea with. So if Kepa comes back in, I think it gives him another chance. But obviously, he's not been great this season. Southampton, they've got Theo Walcott back. Maybe he can make a difference there. Maybe he can add a bit of uh, attacking intent with Danny Ings. But I do think that Chelsea should be too strong. I think Chelsea, you know, they've still got players settling in, but I do think Chelsea will win this one 2 1. I wonder what you're going to say about the next one. It's Man City against Arsenal. Pep Guardiola's men have just won one of their opening three games. Probably not the best time to face this Arsenal side, a side that, let's not forget, just a few months ago beat them in the FA Cup semi final. Yeah, this is a real tough one to call because, as you say, City have been inconsistent and that, you know, defensively they haven't got it together yet and, you know, Sergio Aguero's not fit yet. And I think they look unconvincing and they do look like they're going to struggle to catch Liverpool again this season. But Arsenal, you know, they can beat the best teams. That I saw them lose at Anfield recently and I do think that Arsenal are getting there, but against the better teams, I still think they're short at the back. I still think defensively can be got at. And it all revolves on whether Aubameyang can you know, can, can do miracles again as he did last season. So I, I do think Arsenal are in the game on this occasion. They've, they've had some pretty bad beatings at City recently, but I think they'll come away with a 1-1 draw this time. I think Arsenal can get a result. Meanwhile, back in North London, Spurs take on West Ham amidst the backdrop of a club versus country row over Harry Kane with England and Spurs and Jose Mourinho and Gareth Southgate. Will that affect the result this weekend? I don't think so, unless Kane comes back from international duty carrying a knock or something. I think Kane plays and he'll probably score like he always seems to do against West Ham. So I think on this one, I think West Ham have had a good bounce recently. David Moyes obviously missed a couple of games with Colby, but it didn't affect them. They, they won with Alan Irving in charge. I think Tottenham have, have seem to have got it together under Jose at Marine at the moment. I think that they, for me, are, are looking good for the top four. So I think, I think Tottenham win this one easily, I think 3-1. Everton against Liverpool is last on the list here. It's the Premier League leaders against the Premier League defending champions. Is this Everton's best chance yet to beat Liverpool? I think it is. I think Everton have got a great chance that they're flying, they're in form, seven out of seven in all competitions. Liverpool have got doubts over Sadio Mane. You know, they've got doubts over the defence. They're on the back of a 7-2 defeat at Aston Villa, which, which might actually motivate them to, to bounce back. But I think this is a massive test of Everton's credentials under Carlo Ancelotti. They're a good team, Everton. They've, got, they've made a good start. But apart from Tottenham on the opening day, they haven't really beaten anyone of any consequence. But... I think if Mane's fit after his COVID scare, I think that Liverpool can get a draw. If he's not fit, I think Everton wins. So I'm going to go for an Everton 2-1 win on this one. Yeah, it's a brilliant slate of games to look forward to as domestic football returns to the calendar. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.